You're listening to the voice of IWA Flip here on Interfed Radio. And with me today, special guest, Shane Cole. Shane, you there? Yes, sir. Oh, man, glad to have you on the airs now. Glad to have you. Now, uh, you know, we've had a lot of managers on uh, over this last couple of weeks. And, and again, I'm going to continue to have as many managers on as possible. Uh, Shane is one of those managers that, you know, I've gotten to know through the AWL. And uh, can, can we start there, Shane? Can we start with AWL? And uh, and, and uh, we'll, we'll kind of extend out from there because you're in the AWL and you're in a few other leagues as well, yes? Correct. Nice. Now, uh, in the AWL, I mean, I've gotten to know you through various numbers of characters over the years. I mean, I'll say it like that. And I've gone on air mentioning this, where the pace of the AWL is probably the fastest in the IWA. There's a pay-per-view every single cycle. And would you agree that it's the fast pace, probably the fastest? Yes, definitely. Uh, then, I mean, before we got on air, Shane, I mean, you mentioned that's, you know, that that's one of your favorite leagues. I mean, what what makes it one of your favorite leagues? I guess because the commissioner Will Wisdom gives me the opportunity to put all my all eight of my wrestlers into like pay per views and pretty much doesn't really say too much. Like if I have to if I change a wrestler or something, he just pretty much lets me go into the matches and try and claim. T- Try and claim titles. Nice. I mean, and, and that is something you do quite often, Shane. I mean, I'll, I'll say it like that because you do change your characters a lot. I mean, but it fits the style of the AWL. I mean, I'll just say it like that because the AWL has pay per views every cycle. So, you know, someone that manages in the style that you do, you know, it, it works in the AWL because there is a new pay per view coming up. And like you said, the commissioners like Will and Terrence you know, that are, you know, open to, you know, a manager like yourself that does change, you know, fighters often. It actually allows their pay-per-views to have a different cast. It has different feels. So, I mean, is is that something that's, you know, kept you in the AWL? Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, in terms of the pay-per-views that he runs right there in the AWL, what's your favorite? I would probably say um – the Survivor Series one that's co- that's coming up is probably my favorite because we get to use various wrestlers and make try and make five man teams to go up against people. Oh, nice, very nice. Now, I mean, a lot going on right now in the Steel. I mean, uh, Will and uh, Terrence came on. I know they they recently, uh, uh, you know, with uh, with their two leagues because it's it's anyone that's asking about the AWL. I mean, you can't say AWO without mentioning CCL because those two leagues, you know, they, they coexist. Exactly. And, uh, you know, what are your thoughts right now with well, what's currently going on? I know recently looks like uh, you know, managers in the AWO, managers in the CCL have decided to you know, form a different fraction there. And they formed what's called, uh, fresh in my mind up, what's it called? The uh, SSW or... Yeah, Terrence run Terrence run Terrence runs the STW, and then there's another guy that runs a stable called ROA. Oh, nice, nice. The writers, the writers of the apocalypse. Correct. Oh, nice. Now I, I heard with the STW stuff, looks like it, it's going to become its own little federation. They're going to have their own belt. Looks like they're going to be traveling uh, with that belt throughout the entire steel. I mean, are, are you are you a part of the STW Federation there, or did any, any of your fighters migrate that way? Um, right now, with my four guys that I have in the league, as of the time that Survivor Series comes around, my wrestlers are actually splitting up from Un- Undisputed Error, which is my stable, to have two guys in STW and two guys in ROA. Nice, nice. So you got you got some uh, some turmoil amongst your own fighters. Yeah, I had like a one of my guys who I named after um, Kenny Omega in Japan. He I had him attack my wrestler Shane Cole to kind of start the split up of the undisputed era. Nice. Yeah. Oh no. I mean, uh, and. Uh... In, in terms of uh, your time there in the AWL, Shane, a uh, favorite manager to feud with? Favorite? Uh, any particular favorite feud you've had there? Um, 
I would probably say either Anthony Hodges or Terrence would be my two favorites that I like working with. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's a good two right there. I mean, Hodges uh, has extended out to a few other leagues right now, so I know he's, he's starting trouble elsewhere, but at the same time, I know his roots are, are, are definitely there in the steel because that's where I got to know him, and that, that's where I've had my interactions with him in the past. So Hodges right. is definitely uh, one of those legendary managers here in the in, in the AWL, in the, you know, in the steel. Yep. Me and him actually now, just finished a feud together. Oh, nice. Who came out on top? He did. His his wrestler, J.A. Styles, was feuding with my wrestler, Shane Cole, and he wound up beating me like three different times. Oh, that bum. Oh, that bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But but no, Hodges, I mean, he plays well. I mean, I I, I remember, I mean, I'll, I, I got no shame saying it, Shane. I remember being on the short end of the stick when I went up against him, too, so... <laughs> <laughs> he got me. He got the better of me too. So I, I'll say it on there. I don't mind. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, a lot of fun. You know, interacting with the AWL there. Like I said, I'm. I'm you know, we're looking forward to the next show. Uh, we're gonna have Will and uh, Terrence back on. So you know, talk a little more AWL. Get a little more. Uh, I mean, he he opened that up to every manager, every commissioner in the steel. So you know, the last time I checked, looked like seven or eight managers. You know, which is pretty much every single league in the steel has. Uh, has uh, reached out to Will and looks like they, they, they want some kind of participation in that interfit title that's going to go, going to go uh, traveling the steel. So, should be interesting to see these next couple of cycles. Yeah, definitely. Now, in terms of uh, outside of the steel, who, who else are you running? Uh, besides steel, I have the United Nations League that I do, which is two wrestlers. And then I have the WWL, which I do, which I do with Melvin De, De Jesus for with eight wrestlers there. Nice, nice. And those those two leagues right there, are, you know, you know, some of the leagues we're highlighting here on the Interfed Radio. I mean, let, let, let's get into who you have there in the UN now. Who who you running there? In there, I have um, the one guy. I actually kind of switched his name a little bit. He's now going to be called the Siberian. Siberian Bull, Alex Drago, and then I have my wrestler, which is the Panama City Playboy, Shane Cole. Nice, nice. Now, now Shane, in, in talking UNL, I mean, because the commissioner there, uh, Commissioner Scott Anderson, you know, he runs a little bit of a slower pace there in the UNL. Yeah. <laughs> are, are, I mean, I, I like I said, I don't mean to point the finger, but are, are you changing characters as much there, or, or, or ha- are you sticking to a certain cast? And running them towards the pay per view, or for those two, I just kind of since he has only a two wrestler limit, I came up with those two and just use those two mostly. Nice, nice. So you 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 are working them up, and you are gonna kind of you know hold on to that cast right there for a little bit. Right. Nice, nice. Yeah, like I said, they did different leagues, you know, have different paces, so it is. Uh, you know, you know, you you do kind of want to adjust to the pace of the commissioners. Like right now, I'm. You know, I'm getting ready to actually enter one of uh, Commissioner Anderson's uh, leagues, so I'm kind of building up to getting into the Living Nightmare League. So, you know, and, oh, nice. you know I'm looking, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the different, uh, different trash talks that's going on right now because I want to kind of work into what they have going around. So, I've actually, you know, I think his uh, pay per views coming up, so I'm kind of going to work, you know, you know, a little trash talk, you know, right after the end of the pay per view to kind of build my guy to come in, you know, in uh, in January. So. You know, it, it is fun working with new uh, new commissioners. It is fun working with new uh, new managers because the Living Nightmare has a has a unique group there as well that you know is exclusive to that league. So, right, I haven't actually now, been in the Living Nightmare League, so I really don't know too much about that league. Yeah, no, I mean it, it's. I mean, I think the thing that's attracting me there right now, uh, Shane, is just the whole fact that there are exclusive managers that are only there. I uh, like Dennis Mooney, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, at, at the same time, you know, someone like, uh, like Catfish Rob that's there, you know, who I, you know, you know, I've just recently got, you know, to going back and forth with. So, you know, I'm going to work with those two managers there, you know, kind of, you know, work a few angles, uh, with Commissioner Anderson. So it'll be fun. Like I said, then maybe after that, then maybe I'll make a, make a cameo over in the UNL after, after my living nightmare, uh, stay. That works. Yeah. No, now, you, you mentioned WWL. Uh, mm. I, I, I know Melvin uh, Mayhem, De Jesus right there is, uh, 
is uh, oh man, he's he's doing a phenomenal job. Let's say it like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, I mean he's, I actually, he's one of them. That... Oh, go ahead, Chase. I actually, when I first met him, he was running the NBL, and he was doing ama- an amazing job with that league. And then when he told me about the WWL, I was like, if you're commissioner, I will definitely do it because you're he's a heck of a guy. Oh, yeah, no, I just had, uh, right before your show, I had, uh, uh, Michael, uh, Giuliano, and, you know, he, he pretty much, he's another one of those managers that's exclusive to the WWR, and he's all like, you know what, Melvin is as fair as a commissioner as you're gonna see in the game. He's all like, if you, if you trash talk, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna, you know, give you guys the credit, he's gonna give you guys a push to, you know, work into the pay-per-view, so I'm like, dude, that's perfect. Right. <clears throat> yeah, no, he's running, you know, I mean, a, a few shows, I mean, I've had him on twice now because, uh, the first show got so many hits within the, you know, the first hour that I was, you know, I, I told him, I go, hey, dude, I, I go, I don't know what's going on, but it looks like, uh, it looks like you got a good following. And, uh, yeah, sure enough, he's all like, hey, man, well, let's do another one. And we did another show covering a more in-depth look at the WWL because, you know, it, it has a lot of attention right now. And I told him, like, hey, if, if you know, use these airways, you know, as much, you know, as much as you want. Yeah, you know, just like uh, just like yourself, you're like, hey, uh, you know, I'm I, I'm a former commissioner. You know, get get me on. What what, what leagues did you commission before, uh, Shane? I used to um, one of the leagues that I actually helped create was the CDL. Oh, nice! The classic uh, championship one. Yeah, that was all. That was uh, part of your uh, creation. Yeah, I originally had it set up as a hardcore league because there's a actual, a really hardcore league that's based, that I based it on from the CZL. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I recently took the CZL. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I, 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 uh, I kept the name because I liked the name. I go, that, that, that was definitely one I was like, oh, yeah, no, this one definitely doesn't need changing. So kudos, man. That, yeah, that combat zone is, is definitely a nice, uh, has a nice ring to it. Yeah, it was based on the league that I that Dean Ambrose from WWE actually came out of. Oh, nice! Very cool. Yeah, no, I've I, I've gone on air a few times, Shane. I'm I'm very wrestling illiterate, so when you say stuff like that, it's still it, it's still like, I mean, I, I had no idea he had came from from Combat Zone Wrestling. That's cool. Yeah, he that's where he he was when he did an interview with somebody. He he told him that's where. He got his roots in wrestling from. That's cool. Oh yeah, no, I mean, like, like I said, there's a lot of people in this game that are that I consider wrestling. You know, like 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 like, like the voice in the background said, a wrestler, "You're a wrestling fanatic. You're a wrestling fanatic." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, my fiance and, and, calls me a wrestling fanatic because that's all I watch. That and football. <laughs> That's awesome, you know. Yeah, but you know, and and like I said, the more people I get to have on the air, it's just it, it's beautiful, you know, because you get to know. You know, their side of, you know, what, you know, me, I, I'm, I'm, I like graphics. I like doing this and that. And I live and die for managers like you that are actually fanatics because with, with, you know, with you guys pushing angles and with you guys, you know, introducing me to new characters and introducing me to new, you know, new searches is basically what I, so I see it as, you know, people are like, Hey, dude, have you seen this? And actually, you know, I'm looking up, you know, Portland wrestling and I'm looking up, you know, uh, uh, Receipt, I forget what the one right here in Reseda is called. It's a little underground, less, not underground, less, but a small promotion here in California in Reseda. Uh, oh yeah, I went blank right now. But anyways, I, I, I you know, I, I start looking these promotions up and I'm just like, wow, there's a lot of wrestling out there. There really is. Yeah. There's a lot of any, independent wrestling. That's the one I was going to mention. Any independent wrestlings, uh, right there by where you're at that you follow? Um, out here in Tucson, there's not too much wrestling out here. It seems like the mate, like the big groups like WWE and Ring of Honor seem to go to Phoenix because I guess it's a bigger area for them. Huh. Now, in terms of uh, on, on TV, are you watching any small promotions right now, Shane? Um, every once in a while, I try and keep up on Ring of Honor because it's a smaller league and I get like emails about the New Japan Pro Wrestling from the wrestlers that are out there. Nice, yeah, those are those are definitely two of the ones that people, I've heard people mention over and over again. So eventually, I gotta I, I gotta tune into some of their uh, and, and just like anything else, I mean, uh, 
I know, you know, WWE, WWF had WrestleMania. In terms of ROH, what, what, what was their, what's their main show called? Uh, for Ring of Honor, um, I know they have, have one that you know. I think they have like a smaller base show, but I, off the top of my head, I can't remember what it actually is. Mm, okay. Yeah, no, I, I know, like I said, I know WrestleMania is, you know, the WWE, you know, legacy, but, you know, I know all their promotions got their, their shows that they run, so. And we'll have to, we'll have to look some of those up eventually, man. But, you know, yeah. kind of get some more, get some more ideas for, for the IWA. <laughs> That's right. Now, I mean, I, I, I see your cast that you run, you know, your, uh, the cast in the AWL. You want to talk a little more about who you have right now in the AWL and, uh, and what's going on with them? Sure. AWL, I have, right now, they're, since they're under my personal stable, which is Undisputed Error, I have the Panama City Playboy, Shane Cole, and now I have Connor O'Reilly and uh, Timothy Strong, and then my fourth guy is uh, Robbie Fish. And, and who are they? Uh, who, who's the main angle right now? Who's the feud? Um, at one point, it was supposed to be that if I lost the match to Terrence Bischoff, that I would become J.A. Styles' lackey, for a better word, um, where I would pretty much like carry his bags to the different shows <laughs> and see, see his like his little <sighs> pain in the butt, I guess. <laughs> right, right, I get you. Unfortunately, with that match, me and Terrence both got counted out, so Will couldn't say that there was an actual winner. And then me and Terrence were talking about doing an angle where I actually split up my guys. So the two guys would be going to his group, and two guys would be going to the other group. That worked out, that worked out. Yeah, no, and, and, and Survivor Series is uh, this upcoming cycle, Shane? I believe it comes, Will told me it comes out on the 27th. Oh, that's right, because have, we have that holiday, right? Right. That's right, that's right. We have a holiday uh, issue. So those of you guys listening, uh, get your matches in early. Uh, hopefully you have your matches in already, because probably by the time this show airs, it'll be too late. It'll be too late. It'll be Tuesday yeah. already. So Cause Tuesday Tuesday's the deadline for Shield, right? Yes. Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday's the deadline. I'm trying to have this show up before Tuesday, so if you're listening uh, and it's not Tuesday, get your matches in. If it's Tuesday, ah, you missed it. <laughs> you missed the deadline. Yep. Oh, man. Now, Shane, anything else you want to cover uh, while, while you're on the air right now? I, I, I know we had those guys. Uh, you, you said uh, we, we didn't really mention too much about the WWL cast. You want to go into a little more depth with who you have in the WWL? Sure. For... The WWL, I have, again, I have four guys. I have my guy, the Panama City Playboy, Shane Cole, and then the other three guys that are undisputed era in Melvin's new league. He doesn't have us, isn't letting us have, like, the stable initials first, but we're still considering ourselves as the undisputed era. It would be myself, um... Another guy, Tim, Timothy Strong, um, Connor O'Reilly again, and Robbie Fish are my four guys. And that's nice. my now, girl. Now, Shane, as, as, as you're mentioning, as you're mentioning those guys, I mean, is it the same characters from the AWL? I mean, because I, I mean, it, it's kind of like the way I run my guys, where I move them around. I mean, yeah. is, is that the same sense where it's the same guy in the AWL that's over here now? Exactly. Perfect. That's beautiful. And then I have four girls in there as well, which are, I call them the Riot Squad. One is Veronica Riot. The next one is Dana Impact. The third one is Alexis Bliss. And the fourth one, oh, I'm trying to remember what the fourth one's name is, um, Sarah Banks. Nice, nice. Now, I mean, you, you brought that cast in. I mean, obviously those names seem familiar. A lot of people might, you know, might be listening and, you know, give you smack about it. You know, like, oh, Shane, no, why did you bring in, you know? I mean, how, how often do you hear that? Um, I hear it a little bit. Like, some of the, most of the managers that are in the WWL were also in the NDL with me. 
so they kind of know what's like how my wrestlers pretty much do. Right. Like I mean, it, 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 as weird as weird as it sounds, it became it became your style. It's like, hey, you know what? If, if you're playing with Shane, if you're playing in one of Shane's leagues, expect this. Right. You know, so yeah, I, I, like I said, I, 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 like I said, I've said it before, man. It's like everybody has to play their way, enjoy playing the way. If that's the way that you enjoy the game, brother, like I said, by all means, you're always welcome in any of the leagues that we're uh, covering in any of the leagues that we're, uh, we're at, man. Cause I said, that's, exactly. That's, that's, that, that's the one thing I don't want. I don't want to, you know, people restricting the way I'm playing. I don't want people, you know, navigating or telling me that I have to do this, I have to do that. It's like, you know what? There's another league. I'll, I'll just go somewhere else. Thank you very much. Exactly. You know, so that, that's the one thing I do like, and like I said, I've had Melvin on a few times already, and I do enjoy that about his uh, his way of commissioning. Where, you know, uh, I, I think um, uh, uh, Michael Giuliano uh, said it best. You know, you know, you're inclined to do whatever you want in in, in those leagues. If, if you want to do that, awesome, run. If you want to bring Batman and Robin, bring them. If you want to bring the Headless Horseman, bring them. If you want to bring in a tiger that transforms and and and, and you know, turns into a human in the ring. That's awesome. Go ahead, do it. You know, exactly. And, you know, so it, it is fun to find commissioners like that that are open. You know. Yeah, he's he's another great commissioner that I've had the chance to work with a little bit. Awesome. Now, uh, the last crew that we were uh, we kind of just kind of briefed over uh, is the crew right there in the UNL. What 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 do you got going on with uh, with the Playboy in the UNL? Right now, he he, um, I haven't even done like my trash talk yet for him, but he actually just wound up beating one of the bigger type wrestlers that winds up getting like all the titles. He got lucky and actually beat this guy. Um, nice. And then, now, is, is this uh, this year you you just moved there, Trey? Is this one of your first couple cycles? Yeah, this was my second cycle there. Oh man, congrats! Thank you. Yeah, because, you know, the leagues like the UNL, like I said, it, it, it helps that there's, you know, a small limit because, like you said, it's only you get two two fighters. So, you know, you got a lot of different managers there, a lot of different interactions. So, you know, like you said, beating somebody that's, that's been relevant, it, it, it makes that match that much more, you know, prestigious, you know, when, when you when you go out there and be like, hey, you know what I beat? Who, 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 who did you beat? It, I, right now... <laughs> Top of my head, I forget his first name, but the last name is Meng. M E N G. Oh, Tonga Tong, Tong, Meng. Yes. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know the name. That's awesome. Yeah, no, that's a great victory. Congrats, brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, and in, in, in a league like the UNL, like I said, you got to use that. I mean, if that, 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 you know, I don't want to say as big as like the one, two, three kid beating Razor Ramon, but, you know, you, you, you got to use it in that same sense where, you know, you just beat a monster. You know, you got to, you got to, you got you got to go ask you for you know for a rematch and you know see if you can get them again at a pay per view or something. Exactly. Right, and, and and you said who else do you have? You have Playboy, and you mentioned you had you had the other guy, the Siberian. Origin originally he was the Bulgarian brute Alex Petrov, and I switched his last name to Drago with the um the story for him is going to be the. His wife does most of the talking because he doesn't understand English yet, and he's from um, Moscow, Russia. <laughs> ah, so they're going to have that language barrier throughout the whole. Yeah, I'm going to have her be like his manager and the interpreter for whatever he wants to say. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. Oh man. Now, Shane, uh, while I have you on, any any other shout outs? Any any last uh, any last thoughts before we sign off? Um, I would probably the one wrestler that I have. I got the idea of from one of my friends. His name is um, Timothy. So I have I can't I used his name as my one wrestler, Timothy Strong. Oh, nice. So he, nice. He kind of does a lot of trash talk and sends it to me, and then I put it in as, like, his wrestler is saying it. Oh, that's cool. So he's kind of like a ghostwriter. Like, I, I mean, I, I've i actually gone, you know, on air already. I, but one of my coworkers, you know, he sees me with all my stuff on, on, on the counters. He's like, man, what the hell are you doing, Phil? And, you know, next thing you know, he's, he's like, hey, man, he's like, do you mind if I write a little story or do you mind if I uh, – 
you know, I, I actually reached out to him, I think. I said, hey, man, yeah, I go, you used to write? I go, do you mind writing a story for such and such and, you know, making a character? So, you know, he got all pumped up about, you know, writing stories. So he, he was kind of helping me along with what I was doing the MML. So, I said, right. yeah, that, that's awesome. Yep. So, Tim, so, so shout out to Tim, shout out to Timothy to, to Timothy out there. <laughs> shout out to Timothy out there. Yes, sir. Awesome, man. Now, again, guys, you've been listening to uh, the one and only Shane Cole and myself, IWA Flip. Uh, you guys have a good night. Good night, Shane. Good night. <laughs>